Chris, and this is an Ibanez SR256. The 6 is for 6 strings, the 2.5 is for made in China or very inexpensive, I'm not sure. What I can tell you is it's got a 3 piece maple neck, it's got a wood body, I think it's bass wood, uh, it's got a really nice white pearl finish that's actually very well applied to both the headstock and the body. Hard to tell probably in the video, but it's got that sparkle, kind of a pearlescent finish, a little bit of a rainbow shimmer. It's actually very well applied. The neck is held to the body with an asymmetrical four bolt joint, and it's extremely secure. The tuners work well, they appear to be Godo inspired tuners. Around the back, we also have the easy access battery compartment for the single nine volt battery that powers oops, the nine volt preamp, low, medium, high, pickup, blend, volume, Pretty basic, about what you'd expect. The preamp is pretty well voiced, I feel like, for this instrument, especially the mid-range control, which I'll show you in a second. Overall, pretty satisfied. Build quality is good. Little bit of CA glue from where they attached the nut that's made its way down onto the fingerboard, but nothing that affects playability. Frets are nice and smooth. No complaints on build quality, especially at this price. Let's hear what it sounds like. I've got the volume dimed, and you may be able to hear it now. Sometimes, Depending on how close you are to, for example, my laptop, which is over here, I can get a lot of high-end hiss coming through. Uh, let's see if we can accentuate that a little bit. I've got the uh, highs dimed right now. I'll back those back to the middle. The shielding job may not be the best we've ever seen, but other than that, tone's pretty clean. So here's everything set right straight down the middle. <laughs> If I accentuate those mids, I can bring the growl out quite a bit. You can hear that that's kind of there. The B string actually speaks a little bit better with the mids boosted as well. Uh, I'll bring the mids back to the mid, uh, <laughs> the mids back to the mid, and uh, we'll talk about that front pickup. Nice woolly woody, I wouldn't really call it a P-Bass. But certainly since these are humbuckers, it does give us that kind of warm upfront tone that we might expect, but still articulate. If I boost some of the lows, boost some of the mids, pull the highs back. Again, pretty reasonable tone, especially for something that theoretically is as modern and zingy as this bass can be. If I bring the pickup uh, blend back to the middle, leave the mids uh, where they are, leave the bass boosted, and I bring up the treble. There's that modern personality. Again, a little more modern, a little more articulation. I feel like this has a lot of good clarity coming from the place where you might be doing a lot of chord. I don't know how to use those musically on a gig, but if I did, I'd be doing it now. Um, I also used to play an SR506. Uh, this is 1996, 97 ish time frame. Very similar instrument. If you blindfolded me and put that bass in my hands right now, I don't think I'd know the difference between that Korean made instrument and this Chinese-made instrument. That's saying a lot, I think, about this. That 506 was a higher-end bass, a much higher price point at the time. Sounded good, played good. This sounds and plays exactly like what I remember that one doing. It's a pretty good instrument, especially at the price. Okay, one last thing. I'm going to bring these all back to their center positions and move to the back pickup. <laughs> Frankly, it gets a little anemic. But if we boost 
the mids and the bass again. Pretty good. I actually really like it. It's a very forceful, kind of authoritative tone. If I was good at soloing, I'd be doing a lot of that right now. It's the super jazz kind of sound. And it brings out the B string nicely too. So that's it. That's all the tones that we've got. Uh, check them out. If you're in the market for a six string, I don't think you'd be disappointed at all. Looking for your first six string to start out, a backup bass, just want to dabble in six, can't go wrong. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for listening. Check out some of the other videos to see four strings, five strings, pedals, amplifiers, whatever I've mean.